Okay, so if you want to, this one is actually the first problem on the quiz, so if you want to check it out uh, while you're working, that'd be cool. If not, that's fine too. Um, but it's asking, compute the total strain energy of the following confirmation using the values provided in the table. And then it says show work for complete crit. So, um, if you look at this molecule, if you're having a hard time visualizing this molecule, I recommend that you build a model. I know sometimes building a model is uh, time intensive, but um, I don't know, if you get practice building these things, you can become really quick at them. So this is the model of this molecule up here. And remember, we can rotate around this sigma bond here, this carbon-carbon sigma bond. And that's where this table is coming from, this Newman projection here, okay? The particular Newman projection we have here is this one, okay? That's, you can see the three methyls in front and then the one methyl in the back here, okay? So if I asked you guys a question, those of you who are checking it out, uh, is this um, eclipsed or staggered? Staggered. staggered, right? Okay, so when you look at the strain energy chart, it kind of gives you uh, idea of which ones you're going to be dealing with straight away, okay? So this one says eclipse, eclipse, eclipse. So since it's not eclipsed, you're not going to use any of those ones. Is everybody okay with my reasoning? Okay, cool. So now we got to look for the Gauche ones, okay, and remember that's uh, where the two big groups are 60 degrees away from each other. So if we see we have the methyl group here and the hydrogen, well that's not going to show that interaction, okay? So we just go around and look for those. Methyl group to a methyl group, Gauche, yep, there's one of them. So I like to mark it like that. There's another one, methyl group to methyl group, Gauche. And then like we said, right, there's no um, interaction, uh, strain energy, that is, between the methyl and the hydrogen. Okay, so that's all there is. Does anybody see any more? So I think that's it, right? So it's just 3.8 kilojoules uh, per mole, 3.8 kilojoules per mole. And then the problem, of course, asks you to work it out. So the energy, strain energy, is going to be 3.8 kilojoules per mole plus 3.8 kilojoules per mole or 2 times 3.8 kilojoules per mole right? and that gives you 7.6 kilojoules per mole. Okay, are there any questions on doing that type of a problem? Yes. Um, if they show in the table, if they show about like uh, H and uh, CH3 uh -huh. of the ghost, so should, then should they consider about they, that? You would, but they're not going to. Okay, no strain energy involved. Okay, any other questions? But yeah, consider anything that's within that table. Okay, good question. Okay, cool.